Ladies and gentlemen, Django Phonic. <laughs> September, but we have it for sale on CD and vinyl here tonight, and we decided we're just going to play you the album right now, so we hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you. 
<laughs> Guys, yeah. we win a champion. Gotta take him off. Turned out to be too hot. Stage you know? Yeah, he's too hot. <laughs> so, uh, you know, Django Reinhardt is an interesting character, being that he, uh, you know, two fingeredly became one of the most famous guitar players in the world. And definitely the most famous jazz musician from Europe. Uh, he's also one of the people credited as turning the guitar into a lead instrument. Yeah. Unfortunately, when he was 18, his, you know, his wife made solid thing flowers for a living. It's early plastic, early fake flowers. Sort of they lived in a little caravan outside of Paris. And very flammable. The whole thing went up and he got burned so bad. You know, he, he only really had the use of two fingers. And he could kind of use these two. They were kind of mangled and burned together and he could use them to bar a little bit for all, but all the single note stuff was done with two fingers. So I'm just gonna try to play half as much guitar with half as many fingers. Twice as many. Yeah, twice as many fingers. <laughs> <laughs> and I only have one finger. You guys couldn't see, right? I'm not the math department. <laughs> So uh, before he got interested in jazz, he played this style of music called musette. So we want to take you guys back to the early turn of the century. The kind of dance clubs that your parents would warn you not to go out to. Dance into that music, music. We're going to take you there. I almost forgot to say. The tune is called Indifference. <laughs>
auch so stunning und great ist, dass wir Tönen von der Gitarre von der Tönen haben. Are you guys not, you know, that was the album. Are you guys liking the album so far? Yeah. Well, we're going to play a couple more tunes for you and then we're going to take a little break uh, and then we're going to play a whole other set for you. Uh, this next one... Oh yeah, I got to do it. Yeah. So I I hired a talented stop animation animator to create me an animated video of the length that On the Road Again is on our album, three minutes and twenty seconds. And uh, the premise was I wanted sort of like watercolor cutout Willie and Django driving through the desert in a VW bus and jamming together around a campfire, maybe with some like desert animals in the Southwest. It's kind of my vibe. And she was like, no problem, five grand. And I was like, done. And then, and then we got to five grand, and she was like, here it is. And I was like, oh. <laughs> I was like, my God, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen, but it's not finished. You see these parts, they're choppy and weird. She was like, yeah, no, I'm already, you know, I'm already like 50% over budget, or like over time on this. She's like, oh, wow, you did not, but you know, you didn't give me a very good quote. <laughs> I was like, how much is it going to cost to make this thing perfect? Because we've all gone too far now. We can't turn back. It's so good. So, and I was like, you know, 200, 300, another thousand. And then let me tell you guys, it was the best $6,000 I ever spent. So, good. so check it out, Jangle Comic YouTube. It's out there. Uh, that's the only song on the album that is available on Spotify because we released it as a single with this song. It's on the road again with Willie Nelson. Paper cutout, stop animation. It's so good. It's yeah. so good. Please watch it, I'm desperate. <laughs> I spent $6,000 on this. It only has 250 views. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. I don't care about views. <laughs> I play guitar for a living. Why would I care about that? Uh, we're going to play a tune called Temporary.
so much. We're gonna play you uh, one more tune. It's the penultimate one on our album. It's a song called uh, "It's a Sin to Tell a Lie." A little, as I like to say, didactic parable. <laughs> <laughs> 